It's another day though. What's up, y'all? What's up, Facebook? What's up, IG? I got some shit to share with y'all. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Somebody tell me she about to know so listen. I'm gonna tell y'all some G shit, right? I got a couple brothers, right? They ain't my real brothers, but they my brothers. Like, you know, I got a brother through um a paternal marriage that you know didn't work out i got you know a couple brothers from the streets just like basically some niggas that like you know we fuck with each other hardcore you know like family so they ain't my brothers but they're my brothers if you know what i mean so i wanted to share with y'all you know what i was sharing with one of them today and this gonna help a lot of y'all females you may think okay whoo she finally making a video talking about the niggas but really this is to aid them the same way the videos that y'all think i be talking about y'all really be to help y'all but i will say this right to the dudes that's battling with the idea that someone else is saying that you're a deadbeat or you're not a grown man or you're not, you know, a real man or you're not doing your part as a man or you're not all the way there as a man. You don't have to feel like this about yourself, but these are things that you're hearing from the people around you. You know, I'm going to always say change the people, places and things. You change your surrounding you will change the narrative on how life is going, right? But I do want to keep it all the way 1K with y'all niggas. Like, for real, for real, right? So, y'all know it's the one video it's back circulating around. It went viral a little while ago where I was explaining, like, a real man, a grown man, they don't hide their flaws, right? They don't fuck around when it comes to the things that they need to improve upon to be a better them. Because the same way grown women know, grown men know that growth is life. If you are not growing and changing and putting yourself in new rooms and coming up out of uncomfortable situations and walking into other ones that have to do with, you know, sharpening you as a person, you ain't grown, you ain't matured, you ain't really elevating in life, right? But I will say this to you niggas. It's a combination of mixed managed emotions, not having all your basics together, and the control concept. So what I mean by this is, for a lot of you dudes that can't seem to get your life on the right track, rather it's doing what you're supposed to do for your children, rather it's, you know, becoming your own boss, living in your entrepreneurship, or even just maintaining um, a job, working a nine to five, or even in the streets, getting your feet under you with your hustle and not getting caught up in the holes, the bros, the cycles, the clubs, the drama, the following shit, the bullshit, right? A lot of times, you cannot manage your emotions as a grown man. And this is so important for men. Like, I talk about it a lot with females, but it is understood in the, like, makeup, the biology, the genetics of a woman that we are emotionally driven. So it's important for us to manage our emotions because our body and mindset be wired, you know, from just our gender to operate based on feelings and things like that. Now, when you are a grown-ass man, and you do not understand the importance of emotional intelligence. You don't understand how to manage your emotions, how to identify what you're feeling correctly, process that shit. You are putting yourself in a space where you will get, for one, handled by women. You will get ran by pussy. You will make thirst plays to get money, sitting around the idea of getting pussy. And your life will end up being a roller coaster. The reason why I say that is because a lot of times when you see niggas who cannot manage their emotions... Their basics are usually not all the way together. And y'all know when I talk about basics, I talk about transportation for yourself, food, shelter, clothing, the management of the responsibilities that you created, the kids you fucked and made, the bills you ran up, the debt that you owe, the things that you got going on in your life. All this shit go hand in hand. Now the issue be, 
when you be a when you be a grown man, meaning like of age, to where you're supposed to be taking care of yourself and you can't manage your emotions, your decisions be made based on temporary emotions. And a lot of times it's a struggle to get your basics together. So of course, you will be lacking your own place to stay or your own adequate transportation or your own consistent hustle where money is coming in stable. And then of course, you know, you're driven towards pussy, chasing money for the wrong reasons. You end up getting mixed with females to where they run you. And then what happens is when you mix your life with a woman, if she's not like at, at one of those brinks of like maturity where she understands life and the idea of respect, your ass gonna get little boy. You gonna get handled to the point where the shit will start fucking with your ego. So a lot of y'all rebel against your responsibilities and the female that you call yourself committing to trying to maintain some sort of level of control because inside you really got insecurities based on not being able to manage your emotions and your basics not being together. The shit as a man will have you feeling insecure. Now I know a lot of y'all niggas just like females. You'll get on your ain't insecure, nigga. I know I'm. I know I'm a real nigga. I know I look good. I know I, that ain't what I'm talking about, bro. That's not what I'm talking about. When you do not have your basics together, insecurities will show up in the way that you move, the things that bother you, the decisions that you make, the type of people you around, the type of women you attracted to. Let me break this down for y'all niggas so you understand. Like I broke it down to my brother. The reason why you like the type of females that you like is because you don't have yourself together and you don't manage your emotions. Let me break it down even further. The reason why I know this is because if you had your own space to stay, your own place to stay, adequate stable money coming in, a sound idea of what you want out of life, meaning goals and things that center around keeping my basics stable and growing myself as a man, it's certain things you won't let a bitch say to you. It's certain stuff you won't let a bitch do to you. It's certain ways you won't carry yourself as a man towards your responsibilities because of what you stand on and what you're trying to build. When you have goals and you need the universe to line up and your opportunities to come in and blossom and be fruitful, for your decisions to be pure, for you to be able to grow, you understand that what you put out affects what you get in. So of course, when it comes to your kids, your bills, the things that you have, you know, gave your word on as a man, you will follow through based on knowing you have things that you're looking forward to out of the world in the future. A lot of y'all niggas, you don't got no real goals. You don't have no real goals because of course, your lifestyle is all over the place because your basics are not together. Your basics are not together because your decision making skills are blurred. They're not right because of course, you don't manage your emotions. And a lot of y'all, like some of my brothers, you've never had a grown man that is an example of like someone that has this shit together to break this down. Even some of y'all right now sitting on this video, you won't be able to receive it because I'm a female. I understand a lot about what's going on with men nowadays. So I understand for a lot of y'all, you won't even be able to take it in even coming from a real bitch. But I'm telling y'all, if you really sit down and process what I'm saying, your ass can start to think with it. Mismanaged emotions had you making decisions based on temporary feelings that a lot of times you're not even identifying them holes correctly. And as a grown ass man, that's problem number one, my G. As you make these decisions that are based on emotions, that shit will affect your basics. A lot of y'all, your money decisions, how you move with your baby mama, with your kids, the way you carry yourself, the stuff that bother you that she say or that the kids do or that somebody said in the streets or that your homeboy did, that shit stems off of feelings. And then you make decisions based upon that shit. A lot of y'all niggas in the streets, you will feel some type of way because you don't got yourself together. Expect one of your bros to put you on or give you the same deals that another nigga giving them or that they created for themselves. And it will make you react emotionally to the point where you won't be able to get up every day and just be on your grind, stacking your money towards getting yourself together, getting your own place, getting your transportation, taking care of the fees on your license to get yourself right back from the time you did and all of this shit. You will just be out here trying to make yourself seem like to your dog that you doing all right without him giving you the prices or putting you in on the plays that he making emotions emotional tender dick ass niggas a lot of y'all be falling in this category this is why a lot of y'all you say you don't take care of your kids because of something your baby mama said this is why you ain't showing up for the jit like you supposed to and shit like that grown niggas be knowing half these hoes run their dick suckers based on what's going on within them so half that shit they don't take it personal because they already know as a man I gotta stand on certain shit with my kids whether this bitch act right or not 
And then some of y'all, you can't even respect the fact that your kid's mother or the woman you got children with, the bitch you trying to build with, she actually got a lot of sense and got it together. She actually got her basics more together than you because of your ego. And your ego fucked up simply because you're emotionally driven and you have not took the time to go in the season where you get yourself together. A lot of y'all, you know, I be telling the females in Zooms and shit, your ass been a mama since you was a kid. So you never actually had time to get yourself together as a, as a woman. Some of y'all niggas, your life been tied to a bitch for as long as you realize you are a grown man to the point where you ain't actually spent no time building yourself as a man. So you don't even see yourself standing on your own outside of her. And that's why you ain't left there, my G, when the shit ain't even respectful to you. This is why y'all be laid up, shacked up, stayed up with a bitch that talk to you any kind of way, feel like you ain't shit. I don't know what you're waiting for, because when a woman don't respect a man, she cannot submit. You will not get no submissive behavior out of a bitch that sit back and genuinely feel like you ain't no grown man. So you can stick around as long as you want. Keep telling the bitch you when to talk to the lady. Keep talking about how you gonna change until you actually get some values, some goals. Get your emotions under control. A bitch gonna handle your ass. That's just what it is. Just what it is. It ain't even money first, love later. It's self First, get yourself together to where you are stable, to where you actually know I got feelings, but I manage them hoes. I don't just operate based on my feelings, having me make the city. Listen, it's a lot of y'all. This is the, the, the last piece that's really going to like click for a lot of y'all men. You rebel to feel in control. Just let that sit on your mind, my G. And I'm telling y'all this because I listen, my brothers, like niggas, I genuinely like care about. As like family I tell them this Because this shit will help them go out And be able to maneuver Through the holes The fucked up bros The life situations The obstacles against them You rebel against your responsibilities To feel like you're in control of something Because most of the stuff in your life You're not You don't feel like you're in control of it your basics, where you live at, when you get to come, when you get to go, all these things be controlled by somebody else that you really are dependent to because you don't got your basics together, because you don't manage your emotions well. So you neglect and move how you want to move based on trying to feel like you're in control. Some of y'all females, I know you can relate. Some of y'all niggas, if you real, like meaning I'm willing to be truthful about the type of person I am right now in this season. A lot of y'all, for example... It's certain shit you don't do with your kids just because your baby mama wants you to jump and do it right now so you don't just to feel like she don't tell you what to do because you got insecurities as a man based on your basics not being together. So it'll be stuff like, no, I need you to get their shoes right now. And then you purposely don't get them right now. Not because you can't, but because you just don't want to feel like she telling you what to do. That's how you maintain your little bit of control that you got over your life. And the shit really is like... A facade it's really like fake control because all you doing it's like as a man making yourself look more crazy when it comes to your responsibilities but hey it's based on your insecurity so of course that's why you moving like that it's niggas that they got the resources in the time to do certain stuff but because that girl telling you to do it or because you feel like a bitch trying to make you move when they want you to move you won't do it but they only talking to you the way they talking to you. They only trying to like tell you what you're supposed to be doing because you don't actually have a plan for yourself on what you're supposed to be doing. All this shit tied together. These is federal fucking facts. Any older nigga, any grown man that got his basics together where a woman don't run him, he going to tell you I'm preaching real shit. And I know some of y'all, you get tired of seeing my lies pop up. You get tired of hearing me speak this real shit. But truth be told, as a man thinketh, he will fucking do. So the point is, you got to keep feeding yourself the real shit nonstop over and over again for your mindset to actually change. Everything that you do, the way that you move, all that shit stem from a thought. Your thoughts stem from what you feed yourself. Even the stuff that you do and then even think about doing it, the stuff that you did and it wasn't even intentional, your body doing it as like a normal reaction or you just like moving based on, you know, what's going on in your subconscious. Like y'all got to realize all this shit relevant. Some of y'all, this is the root of why you can't co-parent. Some of y'all niggas, this is the root to why you can't really stack no real bread. This is the root to why you keep attracting and being attracted to the same type of women. You got to build yourself up as a man in this world. And a lot of y'all women, I'm going to tell you something, baby girl. If you got a son, get them niggas around grown men. Stop raising these young men jacked up around you 
all their fucking life to where you the only adult they ever really see do responsible stuff because you will create a young man that will grow up and make moves and decisions based on how a woman did it. Go get your son a mentor. Go get him in one of them big brothers programs where he's around grown men that stand on their own, pay their own bills, got their own shit. They not living off a woman. They not taking all their life advice from a woman. Create groups and circles and resources for y'all jits to where they understand how a mature man operates. Some of y'all niggas, you in the streets and you hard as fuck in a shootout, but you an emotional ass thug when it come to real life shit. Somebody always got to put something in their name for you. Somebody always got to, hey, you'll go down there and talk to the lady for me. Hey, you will do, and that's why you will forever get handled no matter how many bands you making in the streets, no matter how many bricks you off, no matter how many pounds you break down, no matter how many young, young niggas you feeding the work to, you will still be somewhere out of sight getting handled by a bitch at the end of the day if you don't get this shit under control. Management of emotions is just as important for men as it is for women. You got to be able to stand on your flaws, stand on the things that you know you insecure about, have an understanding for who you are as a man so that you can lead. And these is federal facts. Boys 100% need men in their life. And some of y'all men, nigga, you need a grown man in your life, a grown one. That go to work, take care of their own self, don't got it. And see, the thing is, when you reach that point in your life, then you will realize, okay, my purpose behind mixing with a woman, finding a wife, is to add to what I'm building for myself. And my family becomes something that I am responsible for as a man. A lot of y'all niggas don't, don't feel like that about the bitch you mixing with, or the kids you created, or the household you live in. Because it ain't no sense of like, here is my idea of where I'm going with this as a man so the end of my days can look like this. It's you just every day getting told what to do, how to do it. You being pulled this way with your insecurities and your emotions. She over here in your ear telling you this. This is why a lot of y'all niggas, your idea of commitment, monogamy, a locked in relationship, the shit ain't hitting right with what it's supposed to be hitting on. Because you don't know what you want for yourself. You don't know what you're supposed to be hitting on. I'm just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. It's a lot of shit I say that a lot of people ain't going to tell you. Embrace it. Somebody said, can't lie. I've been raising myself since seven. Put yourself in the right room. Put yourself in the right rooms, meaning like start networking, start moving around as a man, getting in spaces, even if it feel uncomfortable at first, with rubbing elbows with grown men that actually operate from a space of I wake up and make decisions for myself and I feel good about them bitches. And the outcome turns out good for me as I make. This is what builds confidence. This is what builds real self-esteem, especially for male figures, masculine figures. The idea that I am a real man. I am smart. I am confident. When you go and make decisions and them bitches work out in your favor to where things get better, all this stuff builds on your confidence. I like my hat today. I just had to share that with y'all because like I said, I shared it with my brothers. I feel like, you know, it's valuable information. Some gonna take it for what it is. Some ain't. You know what I mean? But I always come on here and give y'all the real, real. Now, I got a Zoom tonight on multiple streams of income. Definitely, if you're able to get in it, shit gonna help you. Like, it's so important as adults that at some point we realize if you're living in this country, if you want to, you know, better your quality of living, you got to understand the concept of how finances work, understanding multiple streams of income, taking control of, you know, the money you're spending versus the money that's coming in, budget that shit to be able to have a concept of investing. All this shit is relevant. I ain't sweaty, I'm chilling. You know, for a lot of y'all, y'all have to get on my live and clown. Definitely always dropping gems. Yep, neat. Zooms are still the same. Zooms are.
are still the same price. Y'all know if you've been in a Zoom before, you get $20 off every Zoom. And then, of course, if you've been in four or more Zooms, you get added to my close friends for free. I'm about to drop another book title in my close friends. You know, I'm always feeding y'all. As I'm learning even more and more, I'm always going to get on here and give y'all the game. And for those y'all that's new to my page, like, welcome. But it ain't for the week. For those y'all that typed all them random comments, understand that this is a business. At the end of the day, I really don't give a fuck about half the shit y'all be saying, typing, asking. You know, a lot of times the stuff you ask shows a reflection of where you at in your life, especially when you grown. And then some of y'all, it's becoming more and more evident that as a grown man, you worried about the wrong shit. Like I seen a man on Facebook type, do she really live in her car? I'm in a, a car that costs $100,000 that I paid for in cash. Like, if I did live in this motherfucker, like, why would that be a concern of yours? Because I guarantee if you pull your shit up next to mine, it don't match up. But you worry about the wrong shit. When you a grown man or a grown woman, and you asking people about parts of their business that doesn't even benefit you. It does nothing for you to know whether I do or don't live under a rock or in my car. You got to ask yourself as a grown man, what's going on with me? That I'm actually worried about what she make, where he live, what they doing over there, and it's not going to do anything for me this is how I know y'all really don't be understanding like the inner workings of psychology and what the fuck be going on it project through what you ask that shit don't make no fucking sense no sense at all and then y'all know me I screenshot it put it on my page just so everybody who friends with me and you can see how much your ass is off track as an adult Shit don't make no sense. And then for some of y'all, you know, you ask or say certain stuff trying to like, you know, throw some negativity out there or try to discredit my platform. I could be on dope living under a bridge. When I go live, these people is coming. They ain't going to not come because it's for the content. It ain't for my looks. It ain't how I'm living. It ain't for how much money I got because I don't use none of that to make a bitch get on a live. This is what y'all got to understand. That's why for some of y'all hoes that feel some type of way when you see me, y'all niggas that get on here and type, the pe people ain't on here because they know me personally. They ain't on here because they know my personal business. They ain't on here because of how much money I got. They ain't on here because of how I look. The people on here because the shit I talk about hit with real life. When they hear that shit, that shit hit. Like, bitch, like a Mayweather punch, that shit hit. These hoes land. Video after video after video, line after line, them bitches punching like a rapper that got bars. Bitch, these hoes hit, hit, hit. That's why I bitch on here. So it don't matter what y'all type, the platform ain't going nowhere. And then y'all know me. I deactivate one of these motherfuckers and go to a different platform, and everybody gonna come to that bitch. Remember when I got off of Facebook? Gone. Just deactivate. Go to Instagram. Got barely no followers on Instagram. Back up to 300,000, just like I am on Facebook. I'll deactivate both these bitches. Go to fucking nothing but TikTok. Everybody gonna come there. Go to nothing but Snapchat. Everybody gonna come there. Go to nothing but YouTube. Everybody gonna come there. Kill it. It's getting old. It ain't working. And I know for some of y'all haters, it hurts y'all to hear this. But I'm just giving y'all the real. It ain't going nowhere. And the topics I talk about, they're not going to get old. I seen somebody yesterday. I'm tired of her going live. I unfollow her. Great. Soon as you and that nigga break up or life happen, something happened at the job, you're going to come right back and follow me again looking for some shit to help motivate you because ain't nobody else doing this. That's the beauty of doing something that... you. You know, it's not watered down, drowned out all over the place. People don't know what you know. They can't go duplicate it. That's another thing that bothers a lot of people. I can get on here, how uncombed, just chilling, doing whatever, and my shit gonna hit. Because ain't nobody else doing this shit. And I can charge what I want, go live when I want, move how I want. Ain't nobody going nowhere. In order to get in the Zoom tonight, text 678-965-0698. 678-965-0698. It's on multiple streams of income. This country is a business. The concept is to create multiple streams of passive income for yourself. Live and budget off of less than 50% of one or at least just one of your streams of income so that you can see your money as you stack it. This go for street niggas. This go for, you know, 
females, I don't care who you is. And for a lot of y'all, yo jits need to know this shit. If you got a kid in high school, 17, 18, 16, you need to like start putting them in rooms like this. Like my Zoom rooms and shit like that. They need to start getting this data. Because the school ain't going to teach them this shit. Somebody said we love it here. Child, they'll be back. Even when they leave, they come back. Six seven eight nine six five zero six nine eight. Definitely saying what the fuck I said. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy. Look at them. Thank you. It's crazy because middle-aged white men love this car. Just admiring your car. Brandon, what's up, babe? They'll be back. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day, man. Stay motivated. Stay educated. Stay healthy. Like, feed yourself the right shit to keep you going in a positive direction. Will, what you said, man, fuck folk don't want information, love. You don't help folk change. But listen, Will, you already know I don't give a damn, but sometimes you have to straighten a bitch. I have to, I know, when I come on my platform, because some people really don't understand where they at. This is not the average person online page. Like, this is a different universe when you get on this hoe. And I ain't asking you to come. Y'all know I say that often. I didn't ask your motherfucking ass to come. With that being said, I might go comb my hair. I might not. Who knows? Y'all have a great day.